G'day, g'day, it's Nick here. And did you know that Australia is home to over 170 species of snakes? But we are also home to over 40 species of legless lizard, like this guy here. But what makes the difference between a legless lizard and a snake? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you five of the physical differences between the legless lizards and the snakes. So stick around. Now, the first difference between our snakes and our legless lizards is, of course, their tongues. Snakes are obviously well known for these forked tongues, which they use to sense the world around them. Basically, by being forked, it means they're able to smell left from right. Now, it is true that some lizards, like our monitor lizards and the tegus and things which are in other countries, do have forked tongues. Our legless lizards, on the other hand, here in Australia, all have short, fleshy tongues, kind of like a miniature blue tongue lizard. So not a forked tongue at all. Now, while you certainly don't want to get close enough to look for tongues, the first difference is that snakes have forked tongues and legless lizards have little fleshy tongues. The second difference between snakes and the legless lizards is their ears. Now, it's a common myth that snakes are actually completely deaf. We know that is not true. Snakes can even hear airborne noise, but they do not have any external ears. There's no holes that open out to the outside world. They do actually have all the internal mechanisms of an ear, but snakes do not have ears. If we look at the legless lizards, these guys do actually have external ears, just like all the other lizards here in Australia. Now, they're very, very small. They're hard to see, but they're just behind his eye. He's got a little hole on each side, opening up to the outside world. Now, he actually also has really good hearing, arguably the best hearing of any of the reptiles in the world, with our pygopods, the legless lizards here in Australia, being able to hear about an octave higher than the highest note on a piano, in contrast to the snakes, who tend to only be able to hear low noises and quite loud noises. So yeah, the legless lizards have external ears and quite good hearing. The third difference between snakes and the legless lizards is actually in the tails. Now, you might be forgiven for thinking snakes and legless lizards are both essentially a head with a tail on the end, but snakes actually have fairly small tails. A snake this size, in fact, only has a tail starting there. This is his tail, a very small portion of his body compared to the rest of his body. When it comes to legless lizards, these guys have comparatively massive tails. You see, on this little guy here, his tail actually starts up there. This is all tail. His tail is more than 50% of his body length. His tail is almost as long as the big pythons already. So yeah, snakes have quite short tails and the legless lizards have quite long tails. The fourth difference between snakes and legless lizards is another one to do with the tails. Now, snakes don't just have comparatively short tails compared to our legless lizards, but they actually can't regrow their tail. If a snake loses its tail, where it's been damaged by a predator or a person or any injury, it cannot grow back. But while if a snake loses or damages his tail, it'll never grow back, the legless lizards can regrow their tails. And it's a great survival strategy. You can imagine if your tail is half of your body, there's a 50-50 chance a predator grabs something that you can basically drop and regrow. And you can actually tell if a legless lizard has regrown his tail. You see this guy here, there's pattern on one side and from this side down, no pattern. This part has been lost and regenerated. So there you go. The fourth difference is that legless lizards can regenerate their tails. And the fifth difference between snakes and legless lizards is in the scales. Now, obviously you guys can't feel this guy here at home, but snakes around their body have different kinds of scales. On their body, they're fairly uniform, but underneath, you can see she's got these really large belly scales. Now, while the snakes have these big ventral scales that go the entire width of their belly, the legless lizards have much more delicate ones. They're basically almost the same size as the scales on the rest of their body, which means he sort of feels the same the whole way around his body. So yeah, the legless lizards have small scales all over, no big ventral scales. So there you go, guys. That is five of the physical differences that you can see between the legless lizards and all of the snakes here in Australia. Now, there is, of course, other things if we look inside, the way their skulls work and their teeth work, uh, the way their lungs operate, things like this. But that's five differences that prove to you that legless lizards are not just snakes, they are a lizard in their own right. Now, before we finish up, I do want to give a massive shout out to Animals Anonymous here in South Australia, who have let us come and film the pythons and the legless lizards here today. And you can actually visit these guys and have a private encounter with any of the animals that you see us filming here today. So please, before you click off, make sure you check out Animals Anonymous, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Other than that, check on back. We have lots more videos coming. But between now and then, be nice to wildlife, have a good one, and take care.